Okay, we are on the move this morning. The uh, hay mill in town there. Looks like they had some hot bales last night. That smelled delightful when we drove past in the pickup. So the plan is, we were at the hemp farm yesterday. We ran into muddy conditions and the corn started to get green. Well, we know we have dry corn and dry fields, so we're gonna leave that for a while, go somewhere else. I am headed back to our farm. We've got a couple fields we're gonna put up for ourselves of corn. Then I'm gonna start hauling back to that feedlot I was on, what was that, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Today's Monday, the 31st? Yeah, today's Monday the 31st, just to date this for you. Glenn, who is back behind me, he was just finishing cleaning his windows. He is going to another farmer, gonna keep hauling to the big feedlot that we've been hauling to for the last couple days. He's got a couple fields for them, and then another neighbor's got some fields ready. And then I don't know where from there. We might have to get a chopper back down to Grenada. I wonder if they're getting dry yet. Ground. We know we got dry corn down there, but kind of takes a while to dry out an inch of rain when temperature only gets, oh, what was it, Saturday? It was in the 80s. Yesterday it made it to about 90. So maybe tomorrow we'll send a chopper back to Grenada. But for now, I'm headed to ours, Glenn's headed to the neighbors. That's the plan. You know we're desperate when we bring the old freight shaker out of retirement. Don't even have the boards on that trailer. <laughs> well, 30 foot end dump, no extensions. He's probably hauling 15 ton. Big load, big load. Right here we have some exceptional corn. This is making 30 plus ton. Not the world's tallest, but man, it is thick. It put on a great ear. But yeah, you probably can't read that. The instant wet's running around 25, and the instant dry's running almost at seven. Does that be 32 ton? I just wish the whole field was like this, and I wish we had more fields like this. But this is why we plant. This is why we plant full purpose corn, because it will yield phenomenal. You get the right stuff right fertility and enough water on it. Obviously, we've got you know full silage crew going. There's Bart finishing raking. I believe that's the last field of her cutting. We're also swathing some of our forage sorghum. So we got a lot of things going on. But on top of all that, hopefully here pretty quick, 
we can get the manure spreader out here get old Jill, she's the local custom manure spreader, get her going, and then we can start on tillage. So yeah, there's, there's a few things going on around the farm this time of year. That's why we wind up having so much extra labor on hand. This truck I'm filling now, he just shows up for silage harvest. Neighbor that farms doesn't have a whole lot going on right now with with their hay and being dumped, so he comes and runs a truck for us when he can. We've got what is there, three different guys that come work for us part time as well during harvest. Two of them work for the city. They get off work between two and three o'clock because they start at like six in the morning. So they get off by I think it's three o'clock. A lot of times they'll come out and run a truck in the afternoon. Another guy drives a feed truck for a company in town. He starts at like 4 in the morning. He's always done by 1.30, 2 o'clock. So he's usually out here running a truck in the afternoon. It's a, it's a complicated situation with this many people. But somehow, we always find a way to get through. So quick update for you guys finished the first 35 acre field it's just before noon starting on my second 35 acre field this one looks like the yield on it is going to be really really well really really good really, 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 whatever. you know what i mean it's going to do well or good or however you want to say it but so far i'm liking what i'm seeing field number three according to this it was another 35 acres so did a hundred let's call it about 108 109 by the time you consider what i cleaned up on that other field so pretty successful day as you can tell by the windows it was a messy day got into some decent moisture corn with wind and that's what you get stop cameras the same way i can't see anything out of it but it's time to go start cleaning up and greasing and getting it ready for tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.